Alrighty guys, welcome back to Let's Make Up. Today's video is um, kind of a challenge, a little bit. It was to do a full eye makeup with using no eyeshadows, only using face powders. And by that I mean contour, highlight, blush, whatever you have. Um, but not to use actual real eyeshadows. And that's what I used. You'll see what I used as we go along. Um, now I haven't checked to see who else might have done this. I'm sure I'm not the first person to do it on YouTube, so I'm not even going to act like it's something I could, well it is something I came up with myself and I haven't noticed anyone else doing it or seen anyone else doing it but it's come on it's not the hardest thing to come up with so that's why I assume what other people must have done before I just haven't checked to see who has done it. Yeah this is something I actually do loads myself I think that it saves on the amount of products sometimes that you bring away with you on holiday and um there's some I, cheek powders that I actually prefer to a lot of my eye products anyhow and you do go for some really nice unique colours as well if you kind of think outside the box and use stuff that's not necessarily intended for the eyes um, just make sure that it's safe to use in that area I usually will say if, say if it's unsafe to use it in that area or not um, but yeah if you want to see how this is done just keep watching and I will leave a full list of products below so I'm going to start off with this face contour kit by number seven it is their beauty defined beautifully defined contour kit this is in the light to medium colour and this is going to work as a good, relatively matte um, highlight for under the brow bone. Because there will be shimmer on the rest of the eye, so I don't want it to be too shimmery up there. I think it's much easier to find um, shimmery highlights for the face, which would work up there as well, but I wanted something a bit more matte, and that works perfectly. And actually, I'm going to use the dark shade as well. <laughs> you can see all my mess. Um, not that it's very dark but uh let's just get rid of some of those lines i'm just going to apply a little bit of that into the crease i actually do this anyhow and um, particularly on days where i'm wearing very little makeup i will always pop a little bit of my face contour um i have no face contour on now yet by the way but i'll always pop a little bit of it into the contour of my eyes as well i just like how it makes them look it does add that little bit of depth and definition Kind of helps balance out my heavy lid, upper lid. And then I can go back into the lighter colour if I want to help blend that out a wee bit. And I will apply a little bit of that underneath the lower lid as well. And just in keeping with using face stuff on my eyes, um, well as much as I can, I used my very very empty uh, Catrice concealer as my uh, base rather than an eye primer. Okay now for the actual lid I'm going to use this. Now I have actually the full one of this top one, um, Whisper of Guilt. A lot of people will know what that is. It is limited but it comes out quite well. It, it's come out a good bit from MAC. Um, it's a really really popular limited edition one but there are loads of other similar ones out there now particularly across the pond um, like you guys in the States will have I don't know, like Becca and Anast I, I say Anastasia, Anastasia about Beverly Hills and all those kind of brands that do just nice colours that we don't really have over here. So I'm sure you could have something similar to this, but it's just basically a gold, a gold colour. I use this on highlight for darker skin or I use it on eyes, on um, anyone. I do love it. So you can see that works as a beautiful uh, gold eyeshadow. And it doesn't need like a really strong base or anything like that. It is very pigmented for a powder, face powder particularly. This particular one actually, I didn't t tell you what this was called. This is a double definition. Also from the, one of the um, extra dimension skin finishes because Whisper of Guilt was an extra dimension skin finish as well. Don't think this was from the exact same collection, but uh, it's been out in a few collections, but this color is the same. I haven't done my under eye concealer yet, which is a good thing because I'm already getting stuff on it. Now, for my darker outer crease, um, a couple of options. I could go for something like this. This is the NYX Contour Palette. That darkest shade there is quite dark. It's a lovely kind of chocolatey shade. Or I could go for something like... Hold on a sec. <laughs> um, this by MAC. This is... Sh shadowy yeah shadowy it's one of their contour powders so I'm actually just gonna stick my finger in both see which one is the most pigmented and we'll go from there so 
So this is the next one. It looks kind of like Embarker, one of them by MAC. What's that one called? It's called Hollow, is it? I'm pretty sure it's called Hollow. And then this one is Shadowy. The next one is darker, isn't it? Yeah, so I'm going to go with the next one. I actually much prefer this for an eyeshadow anyhow, just personally for me because it has more warmth in it than I would like for a face powder but as an eyeshadow it's amazing. That's not to say now if you have dark skin and you are warm naturally it won't be lovely on you as a contour colour because obviously if you have quite a warm um, skin tone and you put a warm powder over it it won't read as warm. Um, but yeah I really like this. It's an eyeshadow. And like I consider that colour payoff just as good as you get with a lot of eyeshadows as well. Because you would imagine that it just wouldn't be as pigmented when it comes to a face powder. And then I'm going to go in with a little brush and just apply that underneath the lower lash line. Okay, quickly to finish off, I'm going to go back into the number 7 powder the contour shade and just use that to blend out that darker NYX shade. And then I have two options to finish off with my inner corner highlight. We have the Makeup Revolution Golden Lights, isn't it? Highlight, which is gorgeous. And then of course, if I can open it, the Mary Luminizer by the BAM. Um, both are gorgeous. I think I'm going to go with the cheapo version though. This is only like four quid and it really is lovely. You can see there how strong that highlight is. Actually, you could easily use this as your lid colour as well if you wanted. And there's a few different colours, the peach one as well which I have, and the pink one you could use. And then I'm just going to finish off with mascara. I'm not going to bother with eyeliner just because I want these to stand out and we all know what can happen sometimes with eyeliner. <laughs> you start off with the best intentions of it being thin and sometimes it can become thicker than your eyelid. This is the In Extra Dimension by MAC as well. That's kind of unintentional. An extra dimension or an extreme dimension? I always get mixed up. I think both are right, but an extreme was the... Oh, I don't know. I really should branch out and try other mascaras, but the problem is I just have so many of the same t ones. I do really like them and I just don't want to waste money, so... That's the problem, but because of Karen from Lovely Girly Bits, I really want to try the new Catrice Doll Eyes one, I think it's called, and um, the Bourgeois something second, one second, I don't know, one second mascara or something like that. And after a little time jump I have finished off the rest of my makeup. I did use this on my face as well to highlight and contour and um, you could actually, I know I used a good few different bits there, you could skip this and if you had something like this, this actually has very similar shades in it so it would save you having to use so many different products, I just use them because I have them. Um, but yeah, this is the finished look and um, like to be honest it looks like it was just done with eyeshadow but that just goes to show you that you could get away with just using your face products if you wanted to cut down on the amount of products you brought and like I said you don't need to bring a million different things you could bring a palette and maybe one or two separate powders then um, and just have one powder that's a little bit flashy that you can use for your if it's your if it's your taste um, but you know something that stands out a little bit but I really love this look and I often use face powders for my eyes.